I will answer the top 10 questions from the Flutter community. Top 10. How did you teach yourself Flutter? First of all, you have to learn Flutter on a regular basis. The best option is to learn Flutter every single day. And there you can simply watch a lot of YouTube videos. You can read Medium articles about Flutter, or you can even go to the Flutter dev website and read there the main documentation. And lastly, it is important also to read the normal documentation of the source code. So within your IDE, you can click on any statement to read more about methods or even about whole classes. Secondly, you have to stop learning. What did he say? And what I mean by this is you have to stop binge watching tutorials on YouTube to binge read medium articles. Instead, what is most important that you apply the knowledge. So if you watch a video that you also apply it into your project or that you try the code directly out and play around with the code to teach yourself. And this is where the most benefit come from if you actually try out yourself to play around with Flutter. And certainly the best way of learning Flutter is by teaching Flutter. Maybe you have some friends or some colleagues to also learn Flutter and you can simply teach them how to develop their own mobile application with Flutter. And the best part of it, they will ask you a lot of questions because they face a lot of problems. And during this time, you will learn a lot because you have to reflect yourself the best solutions for a specific problem. And yeah, this is another key factor of learning Flutter. Top nine, what is the best editor or IDE in Flutter? I believe the best editor is VS Code because it is pretty lightweight, fast, and um, most of the people in the community are developing with VS Code. However, I also really enjoy IntelliJ or Android Studio because it is way more intelligent with all the different shortcuts which you have. And if you search for a way where you want to get things done faster, then I also recommend IntelliJ. Top eight, some personal information about me. I'm 25 years old and I live in Germany, in Europe. I started with Flutter in 2017 and during this time I was writing my bachelor thesis about Flutter and I really enjoyed it. Therefore, I decided to work in a startup where we also developed with Flutter and later I became a freelancer. I started the YouTube channel to teach others Flutter and this is how everything started. Top seven, does Flutter have a future? <laughs> Of course, I strongly believe that Flutter is playing a major role in the future and it is becoming one of the leading technologies for developing mobile applications as well as web applications and maybe desktop applications. And I also see a lot of opportunity for IoT devices. However, Flutter also has a lot of challenges and this is because it has to support so many different platforms like desktop, mobile, web applications. And this is then slowing everything down. The whole development probably with Flutter and issues that you raise will not be fixed for each of these platforms quickly. Top six, what is the build context and how does it work? It is important to understand that each widget in Flutter has its own separate build context. Whereas the widget itself is only a blueprint that defines how it will look like on the screen, you also have the build context, which gives then all the extra information about the widget, such as the position and the size on the screen. Also, you can use the build context of your widget to search for Anchester widgets vertically up in the widget tree. This is commonly used to access the state of a parent or Anchester widget. Top five, how to be consistent. For me, it's all about having a strong passion and deep love for the work that you are doing. Because if you really enjoy the work that you are doing, then you will also show up every single day. You will do the extra work. You will go the extra mile every single day. And this is especially needed for hard times, which we are going through tough times. Then it is important that you have a passion and deep love for the work that you are doing, because then you will stick to it and keep going, even if there are some hard times. And this is especially the point where people who are not loving what they are doing, they will simply quit. Secondly, to be consistent, you need to ask yourself some important questions such as why are you doing it? What is the purpose behind learning, for example, Flutter? And maybe you also find a higher purpose, which means the purpose is going behind yourself. 
It is something bigger than yourself. And if you find a purpose, then in hard times you will not quit because you know why you are doing it, while others who are not knowing why they are doing it will simply quit. Top four, which state management should I choose? In general, in Flutter, you have a lot of different state management solutions and there it is maybe hard to find the right one. However, as a beginner, I strongly suggest you to simply go with the provider package because it's pretty simple to manage your state. Secondly, I really love Redux for more advanced Flutter applications because you can write with it highly predictable applications and also the testing of applications is pretty easy. Another advantage of Redux is that you can pretty easily lock and trace all the user actions. Then you can take the logs of this user and you can simply reproduce then the bug and show it inside of your app and then the developer can simply fix this bug. Top three, how to make money with Flutter. I think there are three main ideas. The first one is you build your own startup, your own team, maybe with some close friends, and then you develop some Flutter application, offer some service and products to the people. Here it is important that you have a really great idea that is maybe not yet existing in the market. Secondly, you can be a freelancer. Then you go over to some companies and tell them that you are really great with Flutter and you offer them your service and you develop their Flutter application, their website. And if you are good, you also build up a small team of people that uh, are working then together on these projects. And thirdly, you can simply go over to the other company and yeah, just be employed and uh, work for them. Top two, why do you love Flutter and who is your role model? In general, I love three things about Flutter. The first one is its simplicity, because you can easily build your Flutter applications pretty fast. Secondly, I love that Flutter supports different platforms such as desktop, mobile, web, and it also can be ported easily to other platforms. And thirdly, I really love that Flutter is backed by a big company such as Google, and that it is also a young technology. And that it is a young technology is especially important because there is so much going on there instead of older technologies. And there is also more potential in the future. And for older technologies, this potential is not there anymore. And therefore I would recommend everyone to just stick to Flutter. And secondly, who is your role model? I guess this question is related towards YouTube because I'm also doing YouTube. So in general, I really love to watch different Flutter YouTubers because I really love to learn more about Flutter. However, my role model is not a Flutter YouTuber. He is also in development. And I have to admit, I don't understand any part of his video because it's a different language. Um, it's in Hindi and he is called Code with Harry. And I think what I really love about him is that he is consistent and that he is showing up every single day, probably, or multiple videos a day. And uh, this over years, and this is what I really enjoy about him. Top one, how to use Flutter build on GitHub Actions. Simply go to your GitHub repository and click on create new file. Then you write here inside .github slash workflows slash main YAML. And lastly, you only need to define here a script. Therefore, we create here a new job that is always executed if you push some new changes to this GitHub repository. And this job consists then of different steps. Firstly, we check out the repository, install the Flutter command. And lastly, we also want to use the Flutter command for getting the dependencies and also for building the APK. To make this work, also make sure that you go here down and commit this file. Since this main YAML file was also changed to this repository, therefore you can click on the actions and you see that an action is running, which is basically executing this build flutter app command. And then after some time, you should see that the build was successful or that the build has failed. So in this case, I have changed the source code to not working source code. In this case, this syntax is not valid and therefore this build leads to a failure. And by the way, if you liked this video, then make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel.